A demonstration to show the effects an electric field has on styrofoam balls wrapped in aluminum foil. Electricity, as we know, is usually invisible to the naked eye. These balls are wrapped in aluminum foil. Look at the way they move. Don't they look like they are dancing up and down? From the way these balls move, we can detect the presence of electrical forces. Let's see how these balls can move in this way. We connect two metallic plates to a Wimshurst machine. This machine can be used to generate static electricity. As we rotate the hand crank on the Wimshurst machine, an electric field is generated. Positive charges accumulate on one plate and negative charges accumulate on the other. Look, they are moving up and down. The balls start to accelerate upwards from the bottom plate. After hitting the top plate, the balls accelerate back down to the bottom plate. Can you explain this? Let's examine the movement of just one ball. Here, the top plate is replaced by a metal sphere. When no electric field is generated, the ball rests on the bottom plate. Now we generate an electric field by cranking on the Wimshurst machine. As an electric field is formed between the plate and the sphere, the bottom plate acquires a net positive charge, while the sphere on top acquires a net negative charge. The ball is now positively charged due to contact. When the electric force on the ball builds up to such a point that it exceeds the gravitational force on the ball, the ball accelerates upwards towards the sphere. When the ball hits the sphere, the positive charges on the ball may become negative due to contact. When this happens, the ball will accelerate downwards. After hitting the bottom plate, the cycle repeats. So, when we put many such balls together, the electrical forces acting in them makes them look like they are dancing up and down.